We got the genetic test kit in the mail. We'll see if Bell is gonna be a good fit for breeding. Yeah, you like them. Weighing your sport dog today. Come on. Go open this up. You just have to swab the mouth and we'll figure out what to do here. Come on, Bella. All right, it looks pretty simple. Swab the dog's gums. Spill it. Put it in there. Shake it. Swab for 30 seconds, huh? Let your dog eat it, I guess. Do not ingest. I'll tell Bella not to ingest it. So we open this up and let's get it done. Oh. Yeah. Stay there. Bella, come on. Heel. Good girl. Sit. How long did it say? Stop it for 4,000 minutes. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Like no, she don't like it. She's good though. No, I don't eat it, dummy. She said don't ingest. Why is she so sad now? Good girl. I think that's been 30 seconds? Not sure. Where's your phone? I'm gonna go with like 5, 4, 3, 2, 30. Ugh. Yeah, it's up there. Now don't spill it, it says. Ugh. Make sure it's nice and tight, I guess. What's that do to dog? Oh, turn it upside down like this? Or shake it? I don't know. You're a vet? Yep. You're gonna have to do stuff like this. Let's go to the stud dog now. Gotta swap him. And the other dogs are gonna be flipping out. You ready, Miss Vet? Hush! Hush! Hey! When they bark like this, we don't pay attention to them. They're gonna flip out again. Don't you start. Ruger is an albino lab that we're gonna swab. See if you're a good match today, Ruggie. Sometimes albinos have some health issues, but as long as there's no genetic match, that will reoccur. Puppy should be fine. All right, man. Get you swabbed up. And Ruger, he's not going. Oh, he's going like this. He's riding like a horse. Come here. It's all right. I know. Ruger. Yeah, now he's like, all right, this is okay. Right. Go. Take a run, boy. All right, now we do this 10 times. Do not spill. It doesn't look straight, does it? Oh, look, we got mail. I'll get off the embark now. Flag up. Oh. I think we need a new mailbox. Oh. Straighten this baby out. Probably use a hammer, but uh, you know. Yeah, yeah I'll get it straightened out. And yeah, that'll work for about a day. That's good. I think that's gonna last a little bit. Bolts. Yeah, 
that will be impossible to tighten. It's alright. That didn't do nothing. Sweet. I mean, psh, that's that might as well be a brand new mailbox. <laughs> Got deer on the side, you know. Got this thing hanging out. I got some new screws. Newer screws. They're probably older than I am. Oh, let's get our tools out. Mailman will have a new Gerber. Flag is up. Jammed a stick in there so it stays up. Off to embark. Peace. I don't even know where to start out with this truck. Do you? Well, I had a terrible noise in this truck that I use for everything, for towing, for hauling scrap metal. Oh man, turned out one of the lifter bearings went and shot needle bearings all through the engine. So I thought it was just gonna be a lifter. So I took the heads off to replace it and then saw the damage, so. Anyways, got a new engine to put in here. Yeah. In the meantime, this is broken. It's been sitting for a year and a half. And I got to get it done. So, I got this portable garage. I got a new to me engine that we're going to bulletproof. And we're going to put this bad boy in there. Hopefully this doesn't blow away. We're going to anchor down the garage today. Move the quad out. Organize the stuff in here. <clears throat> then we got to figure out how to take this engine out. We're not going to lift the body off. So my plan is to pull the front clip off. Maybe jack the body up a couple inches. <clears throat> and pull this engine. This one's not going to be too bad. The heads are off of it. Put the new one in. That's going to be, uh, that's gonna be fun. We should do YouTube magic where you just snap and then there's a new engine in there. Ready? For YouTube magic? New engine. One, two. That didn't work. All right, back to work. plan is to anchor all these to the buckets. I'm going to fill these up and then we'll anchor the garage down so we can organize it, not anchor it to the toolbox. I think we're going to have to put the toolbox in the back, engine in the front. That would make more sense. Or not. I don't know. We got this side done. Hopefully that'll work. I think it's probably 200 pounds with the bricks. 40, 40, 40, 40, 160 bricks. We gotta do the other side, baby, but I'm not gonna be able to move this engine stand because all the wheels are broken on it. So we need to fix that. I guess before we organize. Are you getting hot too? I am. So I really want to organize, but man, we're kind of stuck. I'll do some of these other buckets. Oh, it's got an electric start, but I don't want to plug it in.
vibrations go back up and get rid of it. Not now. Thanks, Obama. See how crazy this is. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, that's pretty heavy. Ooh, should have done more CrossFit. This is literally the heaviest thing in the world. Literally. Oh. I'm sure that'll fall. That's okay. You just hang out there for a second. Outside. It's a oh yeah. Oh. Oh. That's good. Done. Right, after some thinking, I don't know why I thought that would work. I'm just trying to use scrap pieces of wood here and it's not working out too well. Hello chickens. This is all using scrap wood, so whatever. You know, I don't know. That should work, maybe. Oh, I mean, a guy could do better, but <sighs> what guy? <laughs> this is why it's so flimsy. It's fiberglass. Oh, here we go. It's now five years later. This is attempt 3000. 3002. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, chances of this working is not high. Should probably wait for help. That's not my style. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's breaking already. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's up. Oh, I think I. Oh yeah. I think I heard my pants rip. <sighs> yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. 
And a few times the wind blew and I was scared this thing's gonna fall over. It, it probably will fall and destroy the things I keep in here. That's not the point. I guess that is the point. Oh, there you go. Not too bad, actually. Scrap wood, quick. Park the quad out of the rain. Good to go. <laughs> yeah. Still got a little bit of room to get off. Get out. Here's what we got done on the truck today. Got the front clip off, radiator, intercooler, trans cooler. Man. Got the garage organized. Got the quad out over there. Man, still got a lot to do. This is why things take so long. A little bit of time to spend on this today. Now I gotta go to work for the next three days. When I get back, I think I'll be busy next week. So, I don't know, it's gonna be a while. But a little bit of progress. It'll get done. Well, hopefully, we'll run the dogs tonight. Ooh, after a good dinner. <laughs> 